In this lesson, we'll demonstrate CSS3, multiple image background settings for your HTML elements. This is something that wasn't available to us in the old version of CSS, but now that it's upgraded, we can now do it. Excuse me. Man, that was disgusting. Whew. You guys should smell that. Ugh. Okay, before we jump into the code real quick, I just want you guys to see the structure of my folder here. I have my index page, which I'm going to be coding in just a second. And then I have Powerbird PNG, Atom PNG file. Those have no background on them. And then backdrop.jpg. Okay, let's once again start with the bare bones of an HTML file. In the body tag, what I'm going to do is go in and just put an H2 tag to supply a little heading to the page. And then I'm going to open up a div tag. And I'm going to give this div an ID that's equal to whatever I want to name it. You can name yours whatever you like. And I'm just going to name mine my div. Close the opening tag and then put the closing tag for that div. Now up here in the CSS, we're going to put in the pound sign to target that ID of my div that's on the page. Now we can put in a background image attribute. And you can also use shorthand for this. So let's take this curly brace put it down a couple of lines and let's put this down one line here let's indent that just a little bit so let's say the background image is equal to and let's browse and let's grab that backdrop okay very nice now we're gonna put a background position let's make this left and top and that image is 600 by 400 so I'll make sure I set those properties in this div but I'm gonna set one more background attribute of background repeat and I'm going to set this to no repeat because I don't want that image to repeat. All right, let's put in the width. That was 600 pixels. And then my height for that image was 400 px. Okay, so if I press Control S and I preview this in a browser, I should have that image fed in as a background to my div, which is all good. Now, if you want to add multiple images to this using CSS, you can just put a comma separated list. So I'll take that. And I'll copy it. Now right in front of it, I'm going to place my new image that I want to assign. And this is going to be a PNG. And it's going to be equal to atom.png. Now I just go in here. And I can put another positioning attribute for that. And all I have to do is separate it by comma again. So I'm going to position that one in the center. Comma. So you see the positioning for URL of atom.png is set to center. The positioning for backdrop.jpg uh, is set for left top. Now let's take a look at what we have. So you can see that CSS is now allowing us to put multiple images as backgrounds in and it'll layer them right on top of each other. Okay? And I'll explain towards the end of the video a little tip of why I think this is a really helpful thing, especially with JavaScript programming and preloading things. But there's really tons of creative things that you could use this for. Now, what if I wanted that to repeat across the whole div? I would put repeat, comma, and then no repeat for the backdrop. Press Control S, press F12 to render in browser. You'll see that atom.png repeats all through that background. Now, you can do the same thing with the last file. So I'll show you how to put three. But you can really put as many as you want. This one was Powerbird. And I wanted this one to be oriented to the, let's put this one on top. So right after center, let's put top. So you can see how they're stacking. The one that's in the furthest back layer of the hierarchy is this one. And this one would be in the very front. This one is in the middle. And the same goes for all of these settings. No repeat. Let's make sure this one is set back on no repeat. And then let's make the power bird no repeat as well. Comma there. Okay, let's see what we got now. And there you go. See, the power bird is set to the top. You can set them to the left if you want. You can do all of this with shorthand CSS. If you were to put background, and then you put your URL, say that one, and then you just put no repeat. And the position for it would be center. And then you put your comma and then the next image. URL, backdrop, no repeat, and then your position, which would be left top or top left. Now, if I was to remove this like that, you'll see that it renders the same. Okay, so you can do it with shorthand or longhand CSS, whichever you like. I just wanted to show the longhand first. That way you guys 
really understood how things were being stacked in there. And it really stacks the same way shorthand. Now this is why I think this is really helpful. Let's go ahead and render this out to browser. Now you can see we have three images there. Now what if I was to take this one, the backdrop, and put it in the front of the line. Let's put the comma there. And we can change all of these things around. Let's make this top left. And then this one would be the center. Actually, it really doesn't matter where these are because you're not gonna even going to be able to see them. What we're doing is preloading them to the page. So if I was to render this out, you'll see you can't see those other two. So what you can do is have a div that has a background on it or whatever. Like a lot of people, they will put for their header bar, it'll have a background in it. You can put extra background images that will load into the page. And they'll be ready if the page needs them for JavaScript or whatever. So this kind of goes in line with the last lesson we had for building the search field and the search button. Remember how we were preloading images using CSS? This is a really, really clean method to preload images and they would be hidden the whole time. But they'll be available to your page whenever the page needs it. You don't have to preload with JavaScript and you don't have to preload by putting a hidden div on the page with a whole bunch of image tags in it. So this is a really clean way to preload, I think. You can preload a whole bunch of images behind that image. Nobody will ever see them loading in.